It's four in the afternoon and you got drunk. I'm hardly drunk. Craig, top up. It's essentially a road movie that happens to go through the highways and byways of bookshops and bars in Manhattan circa 1990, 1991. So because we filmed in the actual bookshops where Jack Hock and Lee Israel, the two characters we play, operated, it felt like you were as authentically walking the footsteps of these real people as it's possible to get. So the smell that you were smelling was what they smelt, and where they sat at the bars, where they did. Quite by accident, I find myself in a rather criminal position. What criminal activity could possibly involve it, except a crime of fashion, of course. You know, what I loved about Jack Hock is that he is he's like a Labrador. He will just go and lick anybody into submission for a bed, booze or a bonk or anything. So um, he seemed to me somebody who who had much more heart, even if he was destitute, whereas Withnow was just an absolute bastard. And I was really inspired by uh, a, a Scottish actor that I was friends with and worked with in the late 80s called Ian Charlson, who was the lead in Chariots of Fire. Ian's character of being sort of very louche and decadent and scallywag on the one hand, scabrously witty, and also little boy lost, charming on the other, that really was the kind of real life person that inspired choices of what this guy would do in the circumstances. Recently found his delightful sign letter. Fanny Bryce, one of my favorites. The moment that I met Melissa, it was instant. I just knew, it felt like lightning in a bottle where you, you know that you have a real profound connection with another human being. Her commitment to it was so 5,000% she insisted on a wig that had grey roots showing and terrible clothing and she played it as far as I was concerned without a scintilla of uh, sentimentality and she was determined to honour how grumpy and curmudgeonly and impossible Lee Israel really was. This is quite something. Name your price. I had just come off a movie called Logan which was a crew of 300 guys so the contrast could not have been more acute between testosterone world of Wolverine and to this one, co-written by, directed, starring, co-produced by, and crewed mostly by women. I think you might guess which one I felt, you know, being a girly boy, I felt more comfortable in. I can't say that I regret any of my actions. But if you have been around as long as I have been, and then you get this, this recognition at this stage, I'm very grateful for it. And my daughter just said to me tonight, it's better than being dead because all the good things, all the messages are coming while you're still alive. In many ways, this has been the best time of my life. Nothing could have prepared me for you know, a year in which I'm now Oscar nominated and I'm in the final Star Wars. It's beyond anything I could have dreamt of.